They tried to sell us a table for 4,000 euros. It was crazy money. It was a two hour taxi back from Monaco and I don't even want to tell you how much I spent because I am embarrassed. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I have just woken up, which is why I look like this. But today I've got something very, very exciting planned. I'm going to be heading to Monaco around 4, 5 p.m. So much later in the day. I'm not really sure, to be honest, what our plan is, but I'm going with my friend Jade, lovely girl. We've had an amazing time in Nice together and the day before, and very, very excited to go to Monaco for the first time. Also my 32nd country, how exciting. We have like a vague idea that we wanna go and get dinner, which we know is gonna be slightly expensive, but I've been saving for this. And then I think we're gonna try and go to the casino. And then currently the plan is to get the 9.30 train back because that is the last train out of Monaco to Nice, which is bizarre bizarre that it's so early but here we are but we're gonna see where the day takes us because who knows what's gonna happen but yeah i need to get ready for morning in the very very exciting Monaco currently walking around Monte Carlo next to the casino it's only about an hour away from where I live which is really really easy to get to it's like I don't know even like 20 minutes from Nice which is super good basically we arrived here we got stuck at this train station I don't know how we're supposed to walk exactly down from this train station into Monte Carlo but we got stuck we literally ended up going back to this train station three times so absolute nightmare and then this lovely man just like gives us a lift in his Aston Martin <laughs> <laughs> and, and also a mini tour as well of Monaco, so, which was so much fun. So yeah, now we're just gonna go and get some drinks, enjoy the views uh, of over Monte Carlo and over Monaco. And then we're gonna have dinner and get to the casino. So it's gonna be an exciting day. I'm very excited. I know it's really dark, but it's so cute here. And I'm, I don't know like how we've ended up living this incredibly bougie lifestyle. It is a little bit more pricey here, but the sushi is actually like reasonably priced. It's not like crazy. And we're literally right next to like Monte Carlo Casino. So, but yeah, I just highly recommend this. It's gorgeous, but obviously you need a, bit, a little bit more dosh for coming to Monaco, but I count for that. And yeah, we're just having a lovely time. I'm just enjoying it. We're just gonna see what happens and where the night takes us. So guys, we're currently about to head into Monte Carlo Casino. I'm not sure if I can film in here, so, because they've seen no cameras on the outside, so I don't know how much vlog footage I'm gonna get, but it's gonna be a really, really fun evening. We are about to miss our last train back um, to like Nice. It's about half nine that the last train goes, which is just ridiculous. So I think we're gonna have to get a very expensive Uber back, but like, it's probably gonna be a one-time thing that I'm gonna, you know go to the monte carlo casino i'm literally gonna put like 10 pounds down that's it and probably just go on the slot machines but that's literally it but it's gonna be fun and i'm super excited after and i know that this is probably like the shortest vlog ever but i just have to show you and tell you what exactly happened last night so as you last heard we were going to miss the 9 30 train back this was slightly intentional because the casino was like not really that full when we first went in and we were like mm, 
I don't know, like maybe we should just go to the train. But then it started to fill up and it's actually so much fun going to this casino, like it was so cool. There's so many like people that came in, everyone's dressed up like really nicely. And yeah, basically we got talking to a Turkish man and he actually gave us some of the little chips to go and play blackjack with. And we ended up playing blackjack for two hours, which was so much fun and not gonna lie, I actually got him up with his money and then I accidentally lost it all. But while we sat at the table, there were some Americans at the other side and we got chatting to them because they were like, you know, our age and like just been to college and things like that. And we ended up getting into a big conversation with them and they were so lovely. And then they were like, well, we're gonna head to the club. So we ended up going to Jimmy's, which is this club in Monte Carlo. And oh my God, it was such a cool club, though actually mad because they tried to sell us a table for 4,000 euros. Like, what? It was crazy money, crazy money. And the drinks as well, like minimum, minimum 30 euros. So it was just all a bit mad. So we ended up staying in this club. Jade left a little bit early and I ended up staying until the others wanted to go home. At which point I had to get a taxi and it was a two hour taxi back from Monaco and I don't even want to tell you how much I spent because I am embarrassed. I am embarrassed and I can't do that again. I am on like one euro a day for the rest of my life because that was the most expensive taxi I've ever gotten in my entire life. So yeah, just to know if you get in a taxi in Monaco, it's going to cost you your kidney. Yeah, just think about that before you go on a night out. So I'm telling future Emma for when she tries to go out in Monaco again because we can't afford that. We cannot afford that. I got at 5 a.m. and you know what I had a class night it was absolutely cracking and really a once in a lifetime experience I don't think I'm going to be going back there anytime soon well my wallet won't allow me but yeah it was just a crazy experience so if you're going to Monaco and you're like me a student on a budget you are gonna have to think about that budget a little bit more and don't let the alcohol go to your head and tell you that you've got more money than you have because you haven't you haven't. But anyways, that's the story of Monaco, country number 32. So like and subscribe and I'll see you on my next adventure very, very soon. Bye!